Hey everybody, welcome to today's workout. Today we're doing a 30 minute leg and shoulder stability workout. Please note it is not a beginner workout. It is quite immediate to advance. So you wanna make sure you have a good foundational strength through the body and you have a lot of mobility through the hips, spine and shoulders. All right, so let's get started. We're starting with 15 overheads. So we're in a glute bridge position where our hips are high. So our feet are hip width. We're gonna tuck and lift our tailbone up. So there's a straight line from our knees to our shoulders. Rib cage down, core's locked on. You wanna try not to hyperextend the back so the back's in neutral. So you don't want the rib cage lifting up and you overarching your lower back. Okay, so from there, your weight's above the chest and then you're going to let the weight with control go over your head and then pull it back to above your chest. Make sure your core and your glutes are on, they're working hard and you're keeping your shoulder blades pulling back and down away from your ears. As you should feel, this is working a lot of your hip and spine stability as well as a lot of shoulder mobility and stability. Okay, next we've got goblet squats. We're gonna use two Y bells, middle grip, lock the goblet, uh, the goblets, <laughs> the Y bells together, and hold them up above your chest, making sure your shoulders are pulled back and down. And then we're going into squats. So with the weight through the heels, I want you to send your butt back, knees stay above your feet, and your back's in neutral spine. So lots of core. And remember your neck is an extension of your spine, so keep that long. Beautiful, lots of core, lots of legs, lots of butt. And you might be feeling it through the shoulders, holding those weights up. So just remember, keeping the shoulders pulling back and down, back and down. Okay, number three is a lateral lunge into a lateral shoulder raise. So you're gonna lunge to the side and then raise the opposite arm. So push through that outer heel, making sure the knee, the toe, the hips tracking straight. And then as you drive back up, you're gonna raise the arm leading with the elbow. Again, keep the shoulders back and down as much as you can. Keep the core on so the hips are stable and really working through that glute that you're lunging down into. Beautiful. Lots of core, lots of legs, lots of butt, and then that shoulder. Lovely. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. So align the hip above the knee, above the foot, making sure the knee, the toe, and the hips all facing in the same direction. And you've got the Y ball in the middle grip and you're really leading up with the elbow. So you're really getting into the mid delt, mid shoulder. Good. Leading up with the elbow, breathing out as you come up. All right, next we're going to do a forward back lunge with overhead so your arm's going to be up with the weight in the middle grip above your head okay so it's really important to keep that neutral spine so you're tucking your tailbone the rib cage is in your core is on and your shoulder is back and down awesome and you're lunging forward and then straight down into that front heel so the knee's not tracking forward, you're going straight down. See how my knee is right above that foot at the front and the back, right above the foot. Good, so I'm really working into the glutes and the core. Let's swap sides. So again, take a big enough step so you can step forward and then go straight down into that heel, really firing up the glutes, the core. Lots of upper abs, so you're not hyperextending the back, keeping the shoulders back and down. Good. Again, you shouldn't be working through any pain. Awesome. Keep breathing, focusing on the glutes, the core. Awesome. And 
Amazing work. Okay, so next we have single legged deadlifts. You should have mastered the normal deadlift with two legs before you go into these. So what you're doing is standing on one leg and you're holding the wire belt in the opposite hand and you're going to tip over from the hips, maintaining neutral alignment, really working through that standing leg, mostly the hamstring and the glute, and then working through that core, good, maintaining that neutral alignment. And you can even kick up that back leg using your glutes. So you're firing up both glutes. Good, keep your hips square so there's no rotation and you're not moving side to side. Good, beautiful. So this one's a really good one to build up some strength and stability through that leg and the hips, beautiful. Another thing to take note of is the standing leg. You don't want the knee to be collapsing in. You know, your toes are forward, your knees forward, and your hips are forward. Everything's tracking straight. Sometimes the knee will want to roll in. So try to fire up the outer glutes, keep it out. Good. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. And note how my spine is not moving out of neutral alignment. It is locked in and it's stabilized. You should be feeling it through the hammies, the glutes, the core, but not your back. All right, our last exercise of the round is what I call a modified burpee. So you're gonna go down, out, in, up. So I want you to squat it down, put the wire bells on the ground, jump it out to a high plank, keep the chest above the hands, then jump it back in so your feet are coming close to the wire bells and then squat it up with a nice strong spine. So your back's in neutral and you're really using your legs and your glutes and your core to get you up with the weights. Awesome. You've got 15 of these to finish. Okay, you've only got three to go. So down, out, in, up. Two to go. Amazing, lucky last. Well done. So that is your round and you're gonna rest for one to two minutes and repeat two more times for your 30 minute workout. Awesome work guys, see you soon, bye.